Good morning everyone and welcome to this week's EC30 Day slash 6 weeks look ahead for the rest of uh, Europe and the UK as well. And uh, we'll get on it for you right now. So this is for week one, mean zero pressure and not been taking us through the current week to up to the 19th of September. We see that we've got high pressure blocking things out around Greenland and Iceland with a deep trough of low pressure this week across the northern and uh, also central parts of Europe. Low pressure covering most parts of Europe, actually. And uh, with high pressure blocking out around green ice, that does pull down cooler air into the north and into the west of uh, Europe as well. The 500 millibar height anomaly for week one uh, looks like that, with high pressure extending through the Atlantic up to Greenland. And uh, we have this trough of low pressure then covering most of northern and also central Europe in between we pull winds in from this cooler northerly direction. The temperature anomaly for the uh, coming week for this week going to be cooler than average through much of northern uh, Europe, so below average temperatures through Ireland and the UK, most of Scandinavia, much of uh, Western Europe, and also Central and Eastern Northeast Europe, below average as well. More than average temperatures are pushed down into Southern Europe, so through Southern parts of France, down into the Mediterranean, have above average temperatures through there, most parts of Greece looking uh, warmer than average too, and it sends up towards uh, the Black Sea as well. But quite a cool week coming up actually, or quite a cool week to come across most parts of northern, central, and also West Europe, and also northeastern Europe as well. Precipitation-wise, for week one, you're know, something like that, quite unsettled across much of Scandinavia. Many parts of continental Europe looking unsettled as well, above average rainfall from France, right way over towards the western side of Russia. It does go drier through the UK and Ireland, but dry weather continues there and into southern parts of France. And then the central bowl of Mediterranean also looking uh, relatively dry as well. Though Spain and particularly Portugal stand out as being very wet, as does much of the Balkans and over towards eastern and parts of Europe, um, uh, towards the Black Sea, Western Africa down there. Uh, into Greece, it is a little bit drier than Africa, so through those Greek islands in the week ahead. Week 2 will be the 19th to the 26th of September. High pressure builds in over the western side of Europe yet again. High pressure comes back. Low pressure across eastern parts of Europe and down in southeast Europe too. And still out of the Atlantic heading towards Portugal. The week 2 500 millibar high joint from 19th to 26th of September showing above average heights. High pressure building in to the western side of Europe. Meanwhile, we have the trough of low pressure in the east and in the northeast. The jet stream is pushed southwards uh, like that as well. The temperature anomaly looks largely cooler than average in many parts of Europe, all the way from Scandinavia and France in the west, north, right way over towards the uh, Black Sea in the east, and all points in between looking below average with the temperature. So, a significantly cool week to come, and especially so through these uh, eastern parts of Europe and central eastern parts of Europe, so like the Balkans, around the Adriatic, looking quite cold through there. Uh, Slovenia and also Hungary looking pretty uh, cool through, through those areas too and those cool additions are extending up towards uh, Ukraine as well. Out west it is a little bit warmer so going uh, warmer than average through Ireland and into northern parts of uh, Britain we find that we've got uh, warmer than average temperatures through Spain and Portugal as well. But actually, this is quite a cool week to come because most parts of Europe, if the forecast is correct. East West split for precipitation in week two. So many northern and western parts of Europe are going drier than average. Scandinavia, drier than normal. UK, Ireland, which have been low countries, Belgium, Holland, Netherlands, Germany, and France uh, having drier than average uh, condition. Meanwhile, further eastwards, though, it's wetter than normal through its eastern side uh, of Europe, um, all the way from like the northwest of Russia down towards Greece and uh, possibly into parts of Turkey. Talking wetter than average through those eastern parts of Europe. And we also have southern central parts of Spain and Portugal looking rather on the wet side as well. Week 3 will be the 26th of September to the 3rd of October. Looks like the high pressure then moves over towards the eastern side of Europe. Low pressure develops around Spain and Portugal. Otherwise, there's not much to be working with for the third week in terms of mean sea level pressure. 
The uh, five hundred millibar are high designed for week three with above average heights sitting to our north winds coming in from the east. So we've got some northern blocking going on there actually to the north of the UK between uh, between Greenland and uh, through Iceland to Scandinavia. Temperature lines are warming up, so uh, we go warm on average up the western side of Europe, from Spain, Portugal, up towards the UK and Ireland, and particularly through France, above our temperatures from there. Still some cooler than average temperatures left in the far east and south east of Europe, otherwise you have no signal, or maybe balanced probability, of uh, above or even below average temperatures through most parts of Europe, where we have that white area. And the uh, wheat free precipitation anomaly is wetter than average across the southern, southwestern parts of Europe, a little bit drier than average across northern parts of Europe, and drier than average over on the eastern and southeastern side of Europe as well. But the signal, of course, is weakening. Week 4 will be the 3rd to the 10th of October, all becoming rather mysterious now. So let's put in uh, a couple of question marks. For mean cell pressure, the 500 millibar height anomaly looks like that. Below average across uh, northeast parts of Europe, a trough of low pressure to the northeast east of Europe, some high pressure ridging into southern parts of Europe around the Mediterranean, perhaps. Temperature anomaly is still warm and average up the western side of Europe, from uh, Italy back to Spain, Portugal, through the central pole of Med, and then north, which is France, into the low countries, UK, and Ireland, and then the far east and northeast of Europe looks a little bit cooler than normal and the uh, precipitation anomaly for week four not much of a signal now the signal is becoming very weak but looks like this way it could be quite wet down towards spain portugal and maybe quite dry over on the east side of men scandinavia also looking quite dry where we've got those hints of the northern blocking Right, so that's the 30 day look ahead done. We'll just go for weeks five and six data before we go. So, the week five, um, uh, the week five, uh, uh mean cell pressure only from the 10th to 17th of October. Very mysterious. Let's add in a question mark 500 millibar high only from week five. Seems to show high pressure coming back into the western side of Europe again. The temperature anomaly for week five again looks warmer than average across the east. west side of Europe, a little bit cooler than average in the far eastern side of Europe, and the precipitation anomaly for week five. Uh, again, not enough of a signal to, to work with, really. And then into week six, which is 17th, 24th of October, again, it looks very mysterious. Question mark. Uh, 500 millibar height anomaly. Looks like that for week uh, six. High pressure building across the western side of Europe. Probably turning dry and warm up the west side of Europe. Or continuing dry and warm west side of Europe. The temperature anomaly. Again, above average in much of northern western Europe. And uh, perhaps a bit below average in the far eastern part of Europe. But here's a weak signal. And lastly, the precipitation anomaly looks uh, quite dry through those central parts of the Europe, maybe. So these are just here. Perhaps anything up being a little bit drier than normal. Right, that's the third day uh, look at done with the EC Extended Model. Uh, thank you so much to ECMWF.IT for supplying the charts. Uh, we'll do it all over again uh, next Tuesday. We'll have another look at this model on Saturday morning with a focus on the UK and on Ireland too. And as I say, the uh, wider European outlook will return uh, with the ECX send model next Tuesday. We'll be back later on for the 10 to 14 day. That will include all of regular features. But for this one, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.